ways of helping our players get some uh, higher success levels if, if we're finding that we're not getting a lot of success in our 2v1s and 3v2s. In a 2v1, it's quite simple, really. We can just manipulate the, the size or the dimensions of the grid to give more width and more time and space for our ball carrier and support player in a 2v1 situation. If we still aren't executing our 2v1 situation and we've rectified angle of run of our ball carrier and we've talked about depth and width and communication, then it's probably a catch pass issue and we need to regress back into a much easier catch pass drill for our players to get confidence before we come back into this more game realistic live environment. If and this is where you'll find probably more problems, coaches. If we get to the three and two situation and we're still not having a lot of success, that's where we can start to manipulate and or regress slightly that we put markers in and we tell players they have to stay in their channels. And again, we can change and alter dimensions. We can give more width and more depth, which gives more time and space for our attackers. Conversely, if our, if our players are doing really well, then we can start to put them under a bit of pressure. But by putting our players into width, if the ball carrier decides to come this way, we dictate that they stay in their channel and the first defender also stays in their channel. We dictate the second support player stays in their channel. And for the third, and we dictate to the second defender that they can only stay in their channel. So ultimately here, we're really just focusing on good transfer of the ball, good catch pass. We should get success out here. Okay, and then once they get better at that, that's when we start to decrease the time that they're allowed to do that in. And then after that, we can talk about maybe changing channels because yes, we want to talk about switches and we want to talk about cut passes and all those types of things, all those skill sets we want a place to have. But if we're finding our success rate is low, draw it back into the, use these um, opportunities to change the, the drill, change what they can and can't do to make it less of an open environment, more of a closed environment. But when we get more success, that's we we can progress them back again.